Have you ever had an idea for a new piece of software but knew that you lacked the technical skills to create it? Well, with AI, that's all changing, and I want to show you how easy it is to create a simple web app using two free tools. This is ChatGPT and Replit. I've looked at a lot of different options, and I'm convinced these are best for beginners. The type of app that we're going to create is a CRUD app that stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. It's a simple web app, yet it's comprehensive, and it can show you all the different aspects of web development. You're going to be shocked at how easy this is, and if you knew to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and professionals all over the world learn to use these new AI tools. Here's the initial prompt we're going to use. It simply says I want to create a simple CRUD web app using Replit, Python, Flask, and SQL Lite, SQL Lite. Please provide a detailed step-by-step -step guide, including code. We're going to drop that right here into ChatGPT. The free version is now a very powerful version. It's ChatGPT 4.0. And it should return something like this. It's gonna be different every time, but while making this video, I realize there are a lot of different ways to do this, but these are just the simple steps that you need to follow inside a Replit, and I'll show you how it's done. Here we are in Replit. We're gonna click Create Repel. We're gonna click Flask. We're gonna rename this title. And we're just gonna follow these instructions. First, we're gonna create this requirements file. We're gonna copy this into the requirements file, as it says. Here's one of the big things you wanna watch out for. The main file that it generated for me was called app.py, but in Repel, the main file they're using is called main.py. So I simply rename this to match what ChatGPT created. And now I'm copying all this text into that file. Now we need to create a templates folder and a file that goes in that folder called index.html. New folder. New file. Copy that code right in. We need another file in our templates folder, update.html. Dropping that in. And now we need to open the shell and run the following commands to create the database. Don't be afraid if you've never done something like this. It's not that hard. It might take a little trial and error. Here's the shell right here. And if you run into errors, you're going to run into errors. Don't be afraid. You can just copy and paste these errors back into ChatGPT and see what it tells you here. Just pasting the area right in here and see what it tells me. It's telling me to create a new file and include this information. And now it's telling me to just run that file that we created. And don't get frustrated with that back and forth because that's how you're going to really learn how to code with this AI. Going back and forth with AI and this code, copying and pasting the errors back in and building out your web app. And there you go. With a little back and forth, we've created this very simple app that allows us to create records. We can update these records here and we can edit them etc and we've created you know the the front end here the database all of the basic components of a web app and from here you can just start to brainstorm on how to use ai along with these web apps to create some powerful stuff i've got a cheat sheet here available to all my patreon supporters that walks you through these exact steps it has the exact code that i use to get this working if you're stumbling there feel free to join up in the patreon and grab this and best of luck with your new web apps Please give me a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next video.